Oh, hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel, I like to talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemediaorg. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcast or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, uh, I had my first experience with GOAT for Black Friday, and uh, the shoes finally arrived. Well, they've, they've been here for a little bit, but I haven't had a chance to get around to reviewing them. But today is the day. Let's check them out. All right, so uh, for me, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular on Black Friday this year. Um, so I was just kind of like cruising around, checking things out, seeing what was on sale, seeing if there's any good deals that were unadvertised. That's what I like is the unadvertised stuff that just kind of pops up. And I was uh, perusing a few sneakers on Goat. I, I've never used Goat previously before other than uh, to do like some price checks and, and whatnot. And I found that they had these listed and they were waiving the seller fees. And they were also listed below retail. So I couldn't help myself, man. Uh, this particular NMD is one that did catch my eye. And um, at the time, it hadn't even launched on Adidas' website yet. And of course, um, like a lot of recent releases, Adidas was doing these as a confirmed app only exclusive release, which I don't need to get into how much I hate that, but that's what they were doing. And so I have like really bad luck with the Adidas confirmed app, even worse than, than Nike sneakers. And so I decided to, you know, forego that whole thing. And there we go. Sorry, I was having trouble with my camera there. Having some camera issues, but anyways, um, uh, they, like I said, at the time that I bought these, they actually hadn't even released on the confirmed app yet. Questionable, I know. How did they end up on GOAT? Backdoor deals. I won't get into that. Uh, check out my podcast. But anyways, uh, uh, I decided to forego the whole app experience and just get them on GOAT. Uh, with shipping and taxes, it ended up being uh, just a hair less than I would have paid on Adidas' website anyway. So it's almost like I paid retail for them. And so, yeah, here they are, and let's get into it. These are, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this. These are the collaboration um, with uh, Filthy, or Filthy, however you want to say it. But, all right, so let's go ahead and get into the box. Again, the, uh, the presentation for the Adidas NMD is second to none, man. Uh, the way that they package these. So here is a uh, nice goat sticker. Thank you, goat. Here is another set of laces. This nice little uh, NMD card that they include here. Now usually, I can tell that this has been open because usually the laces would be here. They were there, so yeah. I'm sure whoever bought these checked them out before they decided to resell them. So what I was hoping for though, is that these dust bags that they include would be a different color for this particular colorway, but they're not. Whatever, it's fine. It's still cool that they include these, regardless. But, oh, here we go. Come on, come on. Release, release the goods. Ah, there it is. Shoe number one. Very, very good looking shoe. Excited to have it. Shoe number two hiding over here, peekaboo. Oh, that doesn't fit back in. All right, good to know. Oh, I got pulled that a little bit too hard. I ripped it a little bit. Huh, that sucks. Shoe number two. Pretty cool. All right. 
right, of course that is it. Let's go ahead and get this giant box out of the way. Throw the goat sticker back in there right now. Now, even though it is identical to the other uh, NMD S1s that I've done, I'll still do close-ups of this box. And it's a shame, it feels wasteful, but I don't keep them. <laughs> it's a huge box and it's a really cool presentation that Adidas does, but I just don't have room for that stuff, man. <laughs> and uh, I've mentioned this before on my channel and on my podcast, uh, Adidas, man, just throw them in a regular box, dude. Like, why are you doing this? It's cool. And, you know, I mean, the, the, the pomp and circumstance and the presentation, I like it. It's, I dig it, but just make them more readily available and, and throw them in a regular box. And, you know, you can even probably drop the price by 20 bucks if you did that, because, uh, that's a whole thing down there. But anyways, so here they are in all their glory. The Adidas Filthy Collaboration, or Filthy, however you want to say it. Uh, so the official colorway is Ambient Sky. And I'm guessing that's what they call this blue color that is just all over this upper. I really, really dig this blue. It's really nice. I'm glad that the uh, the boost area is also tinted with that blue. So you have, of course, the prime knit upper for the uh, for the S1 with that translucent cage area here, and it's got it's kind of a it's kind of a tan that's uh, mixed in with the blue in this pattern on the prime knit. Looks really really good. And then um, you've got the blue three stripes and then blue all along the midsole here. Uh, that tan pattern carries around the heel of the shoe. And oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, on the outside of the shoe, uh, you have Filthy's uh, P logo right there next to the uh, NMD S1 logo. That's on the outside. Um, so like I just mentioned, the, the tan design kind of carries around the heel of the shoe and you have kind of a, a tan and blue mixture on the three stripes here on the heel and then on the inside of the shoe more of that uh the translucent cage in the midsole midsole uh more of the translucent cage on midfoot and then the the blue three stripes the, the same pattern you have a right here on the toe box. You have the solid blue, uh, solid blue mud guard on the inside of the shoe. Uh, the midsole is semi-translucent, like the other S ones. It's got a blue tint, and you can see the boost behind it. And the stabilizer bars are also that same color blue. Um, again, like other S ones, the front stabilizer's got the Adidas logo here. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I missed something on the heel. Uh, the other S1s that I've done have the same uh, Adidas branding on the heel here, where it says uh, the brand with the three stripes and it's got the Adidas logo. Uh, so on the tongue area, you've got two different shades of blue and then these uh, these custom laces, which are really cool. I, I, like, the, I like the design of them. Uh, a little hit of tan on the top of the tongue here. The, uh, the extra laces they include are also like the same the same style. They're just a darker shade of blue, but I really like this this uh, this lace style a lot. Uh, so like I mentioned on the top of the tongue here, you got another hit of tan. And then just inside the heel on the top, it says NMD, just like other, uh, other S1s. Let's get the shoe tree out. Of course, Adidas going all out with these uh, NMDs. They include a really nice shoe tree. I actually keep these. And uh, I use them because they are they are really nice shoe trees that they include with these. On the inside, you have the NMD logo in black and red, and then a black Adidas logo. So on the outsole, it's uh, it's all this gum color, and then with the uh, the raised um, Adidas logos all throughout the midsole, and you can see the boost peeking through there. Just like any other uh, any other S1. So, if you haven't uh, tried on a pair of these yet, this looks like it wouldn't be comfortable, but it actually it's it's one of the most comfortable shoes 
that Adidas makes. Definitely the most comfortable NMD by far. Um, but yeah, it, look, it looks funky. It looks like a like a almost like a turf cleat. And you probably could <laughs> use these as a turf cleat if you really wanted to. But um, it is it is comfortable for how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna check the other shoe really quick to see if there's any differences. I don't think so. No. No, no differences that I can see. Uh, so these retailed on Adidas's website for $220. Uh, I was able to get these on GOAT for $199 and uh, with tax and shipping, it was uh, $233. And so with, with the tax on Adidas's website, it's right around the same. I think it would have been like $235 for me. Um, so ended up being just a hair under retail, but you know, right in the ballpark, which is great. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with my, uh, my first experience with GOAT in that sense, uh, getting a shoe like this below retail. And I'm really happy to have them. Again, with my, uh, with my S1s, with all NMDs really, um, and Ultra Boosts, I usually go half size up. So these are 12 and a half. And after I have them on foot, I'll tell you if that's you know the case or not. I don't imagine it's gonna be any different than any other S1 because it, I mean, it looks and feels exactly the same. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get some close-ups and some on feet of these beauties. All right, uh, after having these on feet, uh, exactly what I suspected, just like any other NMD S1, um, going half size up worked out beautifully. I have plenty of room uh, around my toes and super comfortable shoe. 
Uh, I, I do recommend if you have a larger foot like mine to go half size up on these. Uh, unless you're planning on using them for running, these are technically a running shoe. So if you are planning on using them for running, you might want to go true to size so they're more snug around your foot. I obviously, I don't run. Um, I use these for, for casual wear only. And so I, I like going a half size up and that's what I recommend if you're going to use them for, for casual wear. Uh, overall, my first experience with GOAT was a great one. And I'm really excited to have these shoes. Um, very happy with the price that I paid. And yeah, uh, uh, really nice, really nice sneakers. I like them a lot. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great afternoon. And like always, thank you for watching.